Okay, hi. This is your host Romy, and in this episode, uh, we are going to continue our last uh, session on creating a photon network uh, in Playmaker. So, we are going to create a multiplayer games here. And on the last episode, we already set up uh, the basic player movement and the cameras and stuff. So now we are going to create the networking component. So let's start to do, do this. Okay, under the player, we are going to uh, set this as a prefab. So for Photon, the prefabs have to reside under the resources folder. So if you haven't created the resources folder, please create, uh, please do that first. Create a new resource folder and put the player inside here. So I'm going. I offer. I have already created a prefab, but I'm going to rename this to a, a temporary name. So player two, and this one that we have created on our scene, I'm going to create a new prefabs from it. So drag this to our resource folder, and we have created. Okay, now for the movement, we need to change the the FSMs a bit so let's change this to a uh, let's change the state name to is mine so basically this is uh, the actions that if uh, the player is the player I mean the player is the avatar of the player on this on this side of client we need to create a two different states so I'm going to create a new state here uh, if it's uh, quite unclear this topic, please uh, revert back to the first episode. The basic concept I have I have explained everything uh, on that episode, so please check that again. Okay, on the first state, I'm going to change this as a start state, and this state I'm going to rename this to a check is mine. Okay, so I'm going to add a photon uh, action it's called photon get uh, photon view get is mine and here as you can see the game object requires photon view component so click this so it gets added to this uh, phot uh, to our player prefabs and I'm going to add a photon playmaker game object pro proxy so we need also this component in order our uh, player to working to get uh, to be to work with photon okay I'm going to add a new event yes and no so add the transition yes and the second one no if it says we are going to uh, if it's if it's uh, if if it's indeed mine or the our player sent you yes so we are controlling using these actions and if it's no we are setting a new event here send position oh no sorry get get variables okay so now we are going to create a lot of new variables with this so basically I'm going to get the position get our player position here and I'm going to set this every frame and I'm going to create a new variable factor variable to store the position that we have retrieved so I'm going to current position and then we are going to get the rotation rotation okay and save this to a Euler angles and add a new current rotation set this to every frame okay we are going to create a new FSM just for storing the variable that we have created from the get position and the get rotation so this going to be a type of factor tree so this is position synced and the other one is rotation sync oh sorry rotation sync 
press add and then we are going to enable network sync okay uh, just leave the warning alone doesn't need to set that and for the FSM I'm going to rename this a variable network sync okay back to our first FSM the movement we are going to use a set FSM uh, vector tree so basically what we are going to do is to send this variable the current position one and send it to the other FSM that we have variable network sync and for the variable uh, name is the position sync first and I'm going to set its value to the current position and set this every frame so make sure every frame is checked and I'm going to copy this FSM and paste this and change the variable name the variable name to a rotation sync and set the uh, set value to our current rotation so we are sending the current rotation and get rotation okay so next we are going to uh, sorry this one I'm going to update transform to rename the state to update transform so here we are going to uh, get a get position and I'm going to uh, to save this to current position so we are going to reuse the variable set this every frame and I'm going to get FSM factor 3 so this time we are going to getting the FSM for uh, from our variable network sync and for the variable name I'm going to get the position sync first and then I'm going to set a new variable and this will be called received position so we are going to get the last position the get position here the last position uh, of our uh, avatar on the other client because this will be run if the uh, this player is not our avatar so it's the other player actually and we are going to getting the current position and we are going to get the updated receive position from the variable network scene and then we are going to lerp these two values or are, I'm going to leave this and you will see what I've meant with it and I'm going to also get the rotation set this to current rotation every frame and I'm going to get another FSM vector 3 choose the variable network sync, the rotation sync and I'm going to create a new variable called received rotation and I'm going to uh, check every frame so and from this value we are going to set the, uh, the position and rotation so we are going to set the position of this character the player to our receive position set this to world every frame and we are going to set also the rotation sorry set rotation sorry set rotation and set the Euler angles to our receive rotation and every frame check so we are going to save this uh, please bear with me because the setup of the networking is uh, gonna took a bit uh, to so maybe this episode uh, going to be longer than it should be okay we are going to create a new empty so this is basically a game manager and for the game manager I'm going to create a new UI so this is for handling uh, the lobby and joining the room and stuff and I'm going to create a new canvas here so I'm going to create a new button under uh, go to 2d and I'm going to set up this button here 
okay we have a button and I'm going to change this button position to this side of the screen and change the anchor value to the bottom right and I'm going to name this create so this is for creating the room and change the text to create room sorry no, enter and then I'm going to duplicate this slide this to the side and this is for join okay so I'm going to save this and for joining room yeah okay so now back to our game manager we are going to create a new state here uh, wait for join uh, sorry for join room and then I'm going to add a global transition a custom event and under the photon we have a default uh, photon event called I think player joint lobby ah, joint lobby here so we need to set this joint lobby and I'm going to create a new event create room or the other one is join room so add create room and join room here and on the third state uh, sorry this is create room duplicate this and this is for joining room just connect this both to each of the state and for the create room we are going to I think the action is photon network create room so we are going to use the simple one and I'm going to name this room test and I'm going to copy this value here uh, make sure both of this are checked and we are going to search for photon join room and we are going to save uh, to paste the room name here And under the start state, I'm going to a sorry, I'm going to connect our uh, photon network. So I'm going to photon network connect using settings. Okay, just save the scene here. And now we need to go to our highlight server settings under window. Photo Unity Network and Highlight Observer Settings. Make sure this is best region and set this to everything and make sure the auto join to lobbies uh, check and paste your app ID uh, sorry your app ID Photon account here and if you already registered you will have your app ID under your account here so just copy this value here and paste this onto your app ID here okay so now next we already create okay now we are going to update our camera so basically we are going to add a new state here and this is the start state we are going to set this as start state and nothing and we are going to create a new state here uh, when player join player join so I'm going to add a global transition a custom event foron and foron uh, joint room so if the player join the room we are going to find game object so basically we are going to find game object with tag of player and name 
and we don't need to insert the name and store this to our uh, player and we are going to add the transition sorry we are going to add the transition finish and send this to the second so we are getting the player f with this uh, variable so I'm going to reset this value here and under game manager we need to use a button event from the UI button ev uh, on click event so we are going to create two different actions here uh, and I'm going to specify a game object and then I'm going to drag this button here for create and for join so we are going to send the create to create room and join to join room okay okay let's try this it's sh maybe it should work okay so okay you need to add a playmaker photon proxy so I'm going to add that go to our playmaker add-ons photo networking and add photon proxy to the scene so okay here we have a playmaker photon proxy and then I'm going to save this again let's try this again okay it's working oh sorry we need to delete the player first okay uh, one thing that it's uh, wrong okay when we create the room we need to instantiate the player to the to the scene so let's do that so now we are going to create a new FSM under the game manager to spawning the uh, player so change this to a room manage and add a new FSM and this is for player spawn spawn player so we are going to leave the first state to an empty state and I'm going to create a new state and this is for spawn player and here we are going to add a global transition using custom event faron and join room and we are going to set random float sorry not set random float but random float I think and I'm going to change this value from minimum 3 to maximum of 3 and this is for the X and Z eh, sorry Z position and we are going to set a new factor 3 from XYZ so basically the X we are going to use this value here and for the Z also the XZ position and then we are going to set a new vector 3 variable random position and for the Y I'm going to set this to 1.2 so the character will be slight above the ground and then we are going to use a photon net uh, instantiate network instantiate so we are going to use this and choose your player under prefabs and for the spawn point I'm going to leave this to none and the position I'm going to use the random position and I'm going to I don't know if I need to store this object or not so I'm just going to save this and see if it's working okay let's run this okay let's create room okay sorry we have an error here as you can see FSM component on game object has variable check for network syncing but no photon view component is observing this FSM so we are going to choose our player prefabs and here we are going to drag this second playmaker with the the variable network sync and drag this to the observe component and change the observe option to reliable de delta compressed okay save project and try this again create oh there you go we have create 
okay but the camera does not follow so let's see our camera here is none what seems to be the problem here it's player okay so the we can fix this by changing by delete this uh, action here and under game manager we can send this to our camera uh, the created player so okay so I'm going to say a uh, store the player to a new object here a new variable so this let's name this player on scene create variable and then we are going to set an FSM game object use owner and pick our main camera from the scene and then rename this FSM and we are going to set the variable player to our player on scene here okay this should be working let's create a new room oh so there as you can see uh, once the player gets created the camera follow our player so now we can test this uh, multiplayer by build uh, by building the game so let's build this game go to build setting and I'm going just uh, to remove the this one this is the scene that I've test before so I'm going to add a new scene and I'm going to delete the first one so this is the tutorial one and uh, oh sorry let's build this so I'm going to create a new folder build tut for tutorial and save this as pun and then I'm going to uh, okay sorry there is a problem here the plugin is colliding okay this is sorry I have to check this first okay plugin I think the one here this one uh, this is correct but under Metro and this one this needs this is already Mm, sorry playmaker metro or oh, this one this we should disable this any platform and change this to USA player so this basically this is for Windows store app so let's try build this once more okay now it's compiling okay so we have built and in order to test this just run this game here and run the other uh, executable build with a small resolution and window so we can see both of the project on the screen here I'm going to show you. okay so we have to I'm going to create room first on this one and then on the other one I'm going to uh, join room so there you can see we have two and if I move this one okay there is a problem this one is not it's not working so uh, let's, let me check this it should be working okay we need to check our uh, player prefab so let's see the player prefabs here we have set receive position right and we have retrieved the position sync from our receive set rotation receive rotation and this is receive position and this is receive rotation and we are setting the position to our receive position this is correct 
okay I'm going to pause this video for a while and so the mistakes apparently is a stupid one it's a, a really silly one so I haven't set the <laughs> it's not my event so set this to no okay save this save project and I'm going to build this one again just replace the old one and save this and let's uh, compile this okay so we have built I'm going to run this again play and let's play this one also close this and play this run this so I'm going to create room on this one and on this one I'm going to join room so we have two different and as you can see if I move the character in this uh, screen as you can see the this one is also moving and if I uh, resize our playmaker window and you can see if I move this one this one is moving but the movement is a bit stuttering so we are going to fix this okay let's fix this close this one and I'm going to stop this because the latency of the network we cannot uh, I mean uh, sorry what's wrong with the window here it's not updating I'm just, just going to scale the window so basically the player the data that gets sent from this uh, network variable sync so basically it's not very smooth maybe there is an interval maybe every uh, cent of seconds and so we need to lerp the value here basically we are going to lerp the get position to the receive position so I'm going to create a new vector uh, sorry lerp action but I'm going to use a lerp advance and you can get this vector 3 lerp advance from the ecosystem so go to the playmaker add-ons ecosystem ecosystem browser and type lerp and search and if the result is shown uh, this one the factor 3 lerp advance so just download this one and you will have this action so this is much more smooth than the normal lerp so uh, from vector we are going to use the current position and the 2 is f uh, to the receive position and I'm going to store the result to our receive position so I'm going to update our receive position uh, not better not to <laughs> change this uh, variable so I'm going to create a new updated position okay so I'm going to copy this lerp and move this to below the f rotation section and change this to current rotation and this is to receive rotation and create a new variable called updated rotation okay so now we are going to change the set position to our updated position and the set rotation to updated rotation save the scene again and save the project now we need to build this again to see the other client so just build for a moment here and let's run the XA here the executable okay I've run this and I'm going to run this one also so I'm going to create room and I'm going to join room oh sorry there's a problem I'm going to <laughs> run this again maybe it gets spawned too near to the other player so it's so join room okay so now okay there's a problem sorry L let me check it for a while okay sorry I have uh, forget to setting the amount and the lerp against delta time so I'm going to set the amount to 5 and lerp the against delta time uh, why 5? Uh, I think 5 is the, be the best amount I've seen this from the uh, playmaker example so I followed that example 5 and make sure these are checked lerp against delta time 
and for the rotation it's also set to 5 and lerp against delta time okay so save the scene again project and cross oh, <laughs> I'm crossing my finger hoping this is working build place this come on come on come on okay so it's done play this again I'm going to run this one also sorry close this run and I'm going to create room on this one and I'm going to try to join room okay so there you go as you can see I'm moving in this client here in this player but you can see on the other client my character is moving very smooth and it also rotating very smooth so and if I uh, scale the window of our unity player and try to play it from the unity here the player is also moving very smoothly on the other client here so that is basically how uh, photon uh, networking in Playmaker uh, the basic structure to do a multiplayer game and uh, basically the photon uh, free plan is only 20 user concurrent user but you can upgrade it or you can also create your own server by downloading their server SDK and running on your own server so the choice is up to you okay so that's concludes our uh, 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 that concludes this episode I hope you like this uh, please subscribe if you like what you're watching and I really appreciate if you able to donate to help me make a uh, better tutorials and more frequent tutorials see you on the next episode bye